Problem number three, graph the following quadratic equation, y equals x squared minus 6x minus 3. The first thing we'll need to understand about how to graph quadratic equations is knowing the value of the vertex, the, that maximum point on a parabola or that minimum point. If we can start there, graphing quadratic functions is quite easy. The first thing we'll need for that is to find what we call the axis of symmetry, which I'll abbreviate as AOS. And the formula for the axis of symmetry is x equals negative b over 2a. And if you're familiar with the quadratic formula, this negative b over 2a is just the first part of the quadratic formula. Next, we're going to go back to our function to determine the value. We look at this function, it looks to be in standard form, which is uh, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And so we have 1x squared, so a equals 1, negative 6x, which is our linear term, b equals negative 6, and c equals negative 3. Not really needed to graph that y-intercept, but helps us, can help us a little bit. We'll see in a minute. Next, what we do is apply the formula. And applying the formula, we'll put x equals negative parentheses over 2 parentheses. And when applying formulas, I like to put parentheses where uh, variables are placed into. The reason being is it helps avoid arithmetic mistakes. So we take this negative 6 for b and place that value in here. We take the value of 1 for a, place that value here, so we have x equals negative negative 6, which is going to be plus 6 over 2, which equals 3. So we therefore have an axis of symmetry at x equals 3. So we can come over here to our graph and draw a little dotted line, and I'm going to label AOS x equals 3. So there's our axis of symmetry. Next, we're going to determine all the points we need to, to graph, which in this case will be 7 points. We're going to go ahead and put an xy table here, and since our uh, axis of symmetry is 3, we're going to place 3 right in the middle of the table. We're going to start and build the table from here. Uh, the first thing we'll do is take the original equation, y equals x squared minus 6x minus 3, and substitute uh, the value of 3 into this function. So we have uh, 3 squared minus 6 times 3 minus 3. 3 squared is 9. So we have 9 minus 6 times 3, which is minus 18, minus 3, which is going to equal 9 minus 18 is uh, negative 9 minus 3, so y equals negative 12. And so we place negative 12 here. Now if we want to just take a break and start graphing, we can go over to our graph. And I think we're set at a grid of 10. So, so 3 comma negative 12 is right down here. Now in graphing, we can employ what we call a, a step pattern, knowing what A is. A step pattern in graphing quadratic functions is determined from our basic uh, quadratic parent function, y uh, equals x squared. If we have an input of 0, we have an output of 0. If we have an input of 1, we have an output of 1. If we have an input of 2, we have an output of 4. 2 squared is 4. If we have an input of 3, we have an output of 3 squared, which is 9. And because of symmetry, we have input of negative 1, output of 1, input of negative 2, output of 4, input of negative 3, output of 9. So we have a, have a symmetry and so on. And so we have a step pattern here as we proceed from one value of plus 1, plus 3 from here, plus 5. And so all parabolas with a value of a of 1 
we have the similar step pattern. If A is 2, we would double the steps. If A was negative 2, we would multiply each of these steps by negative 2. So now we're going to go ahead and in, take inputs of 3, 5, and 6 to the right of the vertex, inputs of 2, 1, and 0 to the left of the vertex, and, and because of step pattern, if we take plus 1 here, negative 12 plus 1 is going to be negative 11. So that will be, let me just erase that y. So there's the first step, and we know because of symmetry, if we go to the reflected side for an input of 2, we also get an output of negative 11. Next, we have a, a step using our step pattern of 3. Negative 11 plus 3 is negative 8. And then we can come over to the other side, input of 1, also output of negative 8. And over here for an input of 6, we have a plus 5 in the step pattern. Negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. And if we go over to uh, x equals 0, we also have an output of negative 3. And we would expect to see negative 3 here as an output for 0, y, because our y-intercept is negative 3. So let's go ahead and graph the remaining points. Here we have 4, comma, negative 11. We have 2, comma, negative 11. We have 5, comma, negative 8. So here's 5, comma, negative 8. Here's 1, comma, negative 8. And finally, we have 6, comma, negative 3. And we have uh, 0, comma, negative 3. And if we wanted to go ahead and add a uh, add more points here, if we go to x equals negative 1, we take a step pattern of 7, and so there would be a point up here and a point here. So now we have 9 points, and we can draw, and it uh, doesn't need to be perfect, but you're going to have something that looks like this. And that is how to graph a quadratic function given in standard form. Thank you for viewing.